Hello everybody. Today I'm working on my Remington 1100. It's a semi-automatic shotgun. Having trouble with the carrier and the carrier latch. It works intermittently. So the carrier and the carrier latch are essential for first releasing the bolt and then also for loading the magazine. So most of the time it works just fine, but periodically it will stick. If I push it the wrong way, if I, if I've discovered that if I push it toward the bolt instead of straight up, it'll catch. And once it does that, there's no way to get it open except for um, pulling back the bolt. And then of course you have a, a shell that has to be retrieved. You don't want that to go up into the the, the chamber as you charge the weapon and then it could go off accidentally. So I figured out how to fix it. You, at least temporarily you can reach in and pull back on the carrier latch. And it moves back a little bit. And then it'll start to work again. And it'll stay that way until I push it from the side a little bit like that. Now it's stuck. So, once again, I've got to clear it. So I'm going to take it apart uh, and see what can be done about it. And uh, I'll take apart the gun and just pull out the trigger group and I'll get back. Alright, I'm back. I'm going to pull the trigger out. I made a, a pin pusher out of an old screwdriver. Trigger group. Sometimes it'll come out really easy, sometimes it won't. I don't understand exactly. Okay, so I pulled the, the uh, trigger group off along with a carrier, and you can see it works. Push it up straight, but I just pushed off to the side a little bit. So I can get close enough, you can see this. Right here, there's a little Pieces, a piece of this chrome piece that sticks up and it's supposed to push on the carrier release but if you move the carrier button to the right just a little bit as you're pushing up it locks well there it goes let's try it again see how the, the button goes up and the little the little chrome piece right there it's trying to move it, but it's the buttons are the carrier releases off it. Try again, see if it works. That fell off the side again. So I'm going to take that little chrome piece, and just bend it over a little bit. That's how springy it is. That bent over some. I'm going to get carried away. All right, so it's working now. Let's see if I can get it to, to go off. That still goes off. This gun does not have a lot of use. It's a, I think I bought it in 1982, but it's only had three or 400 rounds through it, maybe 500, maybe 1,000 at the very most. And bend it a little bit more. All right. Try to push it off. I'm pushing pretty hard from the side here, and it's not going off. So that probably is going to work now. Get up there close. I don't know if you can see it. That part right there. And I probably should put a, just do a close-up.
but you can it's when you look down on here you can see that it's on a little bit of an angle now let's I'll put it back in and see what happens Okay. Try to push it. I'm pushing really hard to the side. And it's, it's still working. Okay, I think I have solved that problem. Alright. That should do it for today. Let's see what this video looks like.